Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We're constantly bombarded with these options for connecting uh, devices to other devices. And we've got now uh, DisplayPort, uh, Thunderbolt, PCI Express. Which is best? How, how do we know which one is going to work best for the type of device that we're using or that we want to buy? So, as it turns out, Thunderbolt is a combination of the two technologies, PCIe, PCI Express, and DisplayPort. What's interesting is, much like when we've talked about other things where terms get muddied because there's the form factor, there's the standard, and then there's the the data format. Thunderbolt does all th of the things. It does PCIe and it does DisplayPort and it does, you know, quote unquote both. It's about as close to ubiquitous as, as I guess you could get. Well, right. minus the support for something like a classic or a legacy uh, right. port like a FireWire or even USB. Right. So you really are doing PCIe over Thunderbolt because there's PCIe you know, in your computer, you know, the, you know, nice little row of pins and you push the card in and your graphics card is PCIe. Right. Great. That's not what the Thunderbolt form factor is. I'm not going to just stick that thing onto the side of my, my laptop and just have it work. But there could be a PCI to Thunderbolt adapter. Oh. There could be. I don't know that there is, but there could be. The, the formats work. So PCIe is a data type. Thunderbolt is a connector type that supports PCIe. And DisplayPort is another one of the technologies that is a data type, not a form factor. So PCIe is a form is a data type. DisplayPort is a data type. And Thunderbolt is a connector that can support Either. both of those. So you can have a DisplayPort connector that only does DisplayPort and would have no idea what to do to talk to PCIe, but we have the same wire. It would look the same. It would look the same. So wait, so, is, is a DisplayPort cable the same as, uh, say, a Thunderbolt cable? Yes. Okay. It's the, not the cable. It's what the port can do. Right. So a true Thunderbolt port can do PCIe and DisplayPort. A DisplayPort would have the right cable, you could plug a Thunderbolt cable into it, but if you didn't have a DisplayPort device, it wouldn't do anything. And we should be seeing at some point, well, from what I understand with Thunderbolt, uh, like port, uh, hubs, mm -hmm. like external hubs, so that you can connect more into it. That's yes. how it works. Yes. So you get 10 gigabits per channel. Um, That's a lot. Most of the Thunderbolt ports are going to support four or eight channels. There are a couple of the Mac devices that only have a two-channel version of the Thunderbolt. Hmm. Um, and some of the early devices only do DisplayPort. They don't actually do Thunderbolt. Right. I think this was DisplayPort. Right. Because it's older. But you can't upgrade that to a Thunderbolt port. You can't upgrade that to a Thunderbolt port. It's just port. pretty much just Display. Yep. There's no really way of t other than maybe a, a logo brand. Like the a thunderbolt to know, we'll hope so. It it's kind of like anything else. You know, you can have a you can have a joystick port that's also a MIDI port. Yeah. And if it doesn't tell you whether it's a joystick Gotta port have, or a MIDI port, I haven't seen one of those in ages, man. Like serial and parallel, and do they still ship computers with those. They do, but you have legacy hardware and such. But you know, ideally, if we can get everything onto Thunderbolt, and everything being PCIe. We might be closer to being yeah, legacy but, free. But, and people are dealing with USB at that point still. You can do USB over Thunderbolt. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so we'll see adapters. And you can do ESAT over because it's PCIe. So anything that was PCIe before can easily be converted to this connector type. Oh, wow. We're and just see, work. We're probably going to see quite a few hubs that will do lots of fun things. Nice. So even though they say that. Uh, computers that have Thunderbolt that don't have a USB 3.0 or, say, FireWire 800 could theoretically yes. move data. And one of the things I like about Thunderbolt is that because it's PCIe 10 gigabits, you could actually do external graphics cards. So say I've got a laptop, and I don't want to deal with the fact that I've got a laptop with a crappy graphics card, right. but I don't want to put a good graphics card in it because I don't want to have it suck my battery 
right. dry. I could have a desktop graphics card that was external, and I would plug it in and zoop. Everything would be great. Everything would be great. And you would never have to upgrade graphics cards internally again. Right. Wow. That's actually kind of nice. Yeah. I mean, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt is awesome. There's, there's no doubt about it. And you, by the way, just to clarify, how, you don't own a single Mac, do you? No. You're not a Mac Apple fan at all? mm mm So I just had to throw that out there because but, Apple's kind of been championing Thunderbolt with Intel. Mm. They, they have been. And they, they put DisplayPort on first, but I have a feeling that the way it's going to turn out is that Apple is going to find some way to bastardize their version of Thunderbolt because they're already, they're the ones that are doing the two-channel Thunderbolt. So originally Thunderbolt said... It's four or eight channels. And then Apple says, yeah, we're going to do this cheaper two-channel one because most of our people aren't going to need 80 gigabits of, of data connectivity. Right. 